Hi friend and welcome to day two of Summer of Self-Love with Yoga Born and this is Restful Reads. So Restful Reads is a short and sweet opportunity to pause, breathe deeply and take a little mini rest in your day or your evening. If you have been following uh, Yoga Born YouTube for a little while, first of all, thank you. We really appreciate your support. And secondly, you will know that I often read from a book called The Almanac by Leoline Dertz. So this is a beautiful book if you are interested in nature, cyclical living, uh, the lunar cycle, uh, all things like this. Uh, it's really, really good read. And this is August in the Garden. So this is an opportunity perhaps to find some green space to enjoy this restful reads. If that's not possible, then maybe you close the eyes wherever you are and imagine that you are in an August garden. So we'll begin. An early morning haze, burned off by the Lammas sun, feet on the hot terrace, a blanket thrown on the lawn, clouds drifting in a blue sky above. Vivid violet pinpricks of Verbena bonariensis floating around the garden borders alongside fat, layered dahlias, towering golden sunflowers, zinnias in their Mexican fiesta colours, acid yellow dill flowers, crazy love in a mist seed heads. And the gardener has stopped battling. The garden is now all that it will be. It is time for the first harvest celebration. The vegetable garden overflows with summer ripening and has become a marketplace for languid browsing and plucking. Hmm, beetroot and blackberries, courgette and dill, Florence fennel and raspberries. The trug runneth over, a cornucopia. The gardener lays the outdoor table, a plate of greenhouse warmed beefsteak tomatoes, sliced and salted and touched with olive oil. A terrible loaf and a young cheese, a bowl of plums. The Swifts make their final swoops of the year overhead, their victory laps for having completed their work here. They've raised their babies and will leave soon, escaping encroaching autumn. Their screeching cries are gradually replaced by the steady beat of crickets in the long grass. The garden has become lazy, the pertness of early summer replaced by a languid, slightly spent air. Stems flop over paths, leaves are nibbled and imperfect, and everywhere there is the fading glamour of flower heads running to seed. It is a transitional moment because as summer fades, intimations of autumn steal in, unwanted as they may be yet. In this final summer month, the garden takes on a honeyed edge of gold. Grasses are buff and the yellowing of leaf edges hints at what is to come. Berries are starting to fill out and take on the slight burnish, hanging heavy from the trees and bushes. And the spiders have begun to appear too, strung between poppy seed heads and gates, where they wait patiently for their season to begin. So taking a nice deep breath in and out. <sighs> and we have four whole weeks of summer of self-love. That's four weeks of completely free practices on Yoga Born YouTube. And if you join us in the studio to practice, we'll have our community challenge board where you simply just need to tick off each time you join us for a practice and you could be in with the chance to win some really lovely self-care prizes. So stay cool, stay calm, stay connected as best you can in this busy month this last kind of young, high power energy month before we start to see the signs of autumn or really late summer before that coming through. Take really good care of yourself. Bye for now.